Hello, my name is Pastor David Pranga. I'm one of the pastors here at Brewster Baptist Church, and this week I'll be sharing with you the verse of the day. You may or may not know, but Pastor Doug's dad, Victor Siglisi, passed away last month at the age of 91 due to cancer. Last week, Pastor Doug was in the state of Washington to do his dad's memorial service, and this coming Saturday, October 14th at 11 a.m., here at BBC, Pastor Doug will be doing another memorial service for his dad. See, Pastor Doug wanted me to share with you that he has appreciated all the cards, the text messages, the phone calls, and the support that many of you guys have reached out to him and his family. And Pastor Doug would like to say thank you, thank you, and thank you. Well, this week, I will be stepping in for Pastor Doug, and we will be sharing with you the verse of the day every day this week. And these verses all come from my sermon on the Good Samaritan. Have you ever wondered to yourself, what are the things that would make God happy with me? What are the key things that God wants me to do for him? See, I believe every one of us, we wonder, what must I do to show God that I truly love him? As we learn the Good Samaritan, the expert in the law asked that same question in Luke 10, verse 25. He said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus responded to the expert in the law from Deuteronomy 6, verses 5 and 6. And that's what today's verse is. So let me read it to you. It's from Deuteronomy 6, verses 5 and 6. It says, love the Lord your God with your whole heart, with all your soul, and with your, all your strength. And these commandments I give you today are to be on your heart. So what does it mean to love God with our whole heart, soul, mind, strength? How does one do that? See, keeping God's commandments is one of the first and key ingredients in loving God. I think of the Ten Commandments that Moses brought down from Mount Sinai. The first four of those commandments focuses on our relationship with God. It's like our vertical relationship with him. Jesus was once asked, out of the 613 commandments, what is the greatest of those? And Jesus said, love the Lord your God with your heart, with your soul, and with your mind. This is the first and the greatest commandment. See, when we love God, it means that we are to serve him, to trust him, obey him, accept his teachings, and to pursue his heart with all that we can do. It's putting God first in our decisions. It's putting God first, even though sometimes we want to put ourselves first. See, when we put God first, we are showing God that we truly love Him. When we surrender ourselves to God and follow Him daily with our decisions and our actions, we're showing God that we love Him with our heart, with our soul, and our mind. See, God wants us to love him with our whole heart. He doesn't want a quarter of our heart. He doesn't want half of our heart. He wants our entire heart. So when you think of today's verse, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Remember that God wants us to focus on him. God wants us to love him. And we do that by being obedient to him. I thank you very much for joining with me on the verse of the day. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.